we got a distress call from the Barlavento. The vessel was taking on water from the seas coming over the side of the vessel and they were disabled and they also had one crew member who had a broken arm and possible head injury. So that it was important to respond as quickly as possible. So as aircraft commander, it was uh, definitely an intimidating call to get, uh, especially with that range. 90 miles is pretty far uh, away from home station for the 65. And really it was one of those cases where everything had to go right. By the time we got there, uh, it was about 50 knot winds, 20 foot seas, and uh, the 79 foot schooner looked pretty small out there. And they had several lines dragging behind them. And these lines were going behind the boat, up, out of the water, to the stern. Went down, disconnected from the hook, sprinted to the vessel as fast as I could, barely made it, and grabbed onto the ropes behind them, hanging on, barely hanging on, and I was thinking to myself, I can't let go. We don't have time for that. Come on, baby. So I knew I only had a few minutes to get the patient, get in the water, swim to the basket, and get out of there. The flight mech did a great job of getting the basket where I needed it in the seas, scooped her in, and I hopped into the basket with her, gave the ready for pickup signal. We went up into the helicopter. I got out of the basket and treated the patient on the flight back and transferred her to her to EMS. We were unsure if we would have the time based off of our fuel constraints to hoist all five of the uh, remaining crew members. So Sector North Bend's helicopter was able to respond as well. Going out the second time, with those guys out there really gave us a, a good feeling knowing that we were out there alone and we had uh, some teammates out there to help us out. We arrived back on scene. We knew that we'd be able to get them to jump off the vessel one at a time into the water and I would be ready waiting on the hook for a direct hoist with the quick drop and we'd be able to go up with them each one at a time to safely recover them inside of the helicopter. Can't thank my team enough for making everything go right on that first go and we were able to pick up all six of those people. So this was my first rescue as an AST. They make it hard for a reason. They only let the people who they know aren't going to give up get through because you're going to be in situations where you can't give up. You have to make it happen. <laughs>